Hey, 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 what's up champions? Gedebina's here. Hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Welcome to Financial Freedom TV and today I wanted to talk about leadership. So if you're watching a replay of this video, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. If you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, please do say new in the comments as well. Uh, and of course, if you do get value from this video, feel free to share it. You'll do me a massive favor and maybe somebody else will get some value too. Uh, hey, Christina, thanks for jumping on. Hope you're well. So what is a true test of leadership? Well, the true test of leadership is how a leader performing in crisis. You see, when everything is fine, when everything goes smoothly, when the company is running no problem, when there's plenty of products, when this uh, team is all happy and uh, working and everything, then there is no such big need for leadership per se, really. You see, a true test of a leader is when things don't go right, when things don't go as smooth, right? Like they say, the smooth seas don't make good sailors, right? Because it's in the rough sea, it's in the rough weather that the true good sailors appear, right? People who can manage the situation in a crisis, right? Well, the same thing in business. Very often, the leader's job is a policeman and a fireman, you know, or a firefighter, right? Uh, because a leader sometimes has to manage conflicts, manage uh, issues and problems, and very often ha a leader has to react to some crisis, to some urgent situations, you know, firefighting, right? So that's where the real leadership appears, because if somebody is not a great leader, if somebody is not a strong leader, uh, when the crisis happens or when the, when the challenge appears, guess what the leader does? The, 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 the bad leader runs away. They don't deal with the problem. Actually, they throw in the towel and they give up, right? When the first challenge appears. But a true leader is a person who is like the rock. You know, when something bad happens, everybody knows that they can rely to that, on that person. They know they can count on that person to show the direction, to lead forward, you know, to show the vision beyond the challenges. You know, and I remember uh, hearing about one big, big leader story. He's one of the, the greatest leaders in the network marketing industry. Um, and his company was going through some really, really tough times uh, so badly that uh, there was, uh, you know, newspaper articles, news reports about his company, that it's being sued and all of that. And people started jumping out of that company like there's no tomorrow. Like everybody started running away from that company. You know, people started leaving to other businesses, etc. And it got so bad that the company owners came to this leader and said, Look, we know you're at this position and everything, but because of what's happening for the next three or four months or whatever, we won't be able to pay you. Like if, if you decide to leave, we totally understand. But if you decide to stay for the next couple of months, we can't even pay you. Now, how many leaders would say, yeah, that's fine. I'll still stay without payment <laughs> and everybody's leaving, right? Like most people would panic and run away. That leader didn't choose to do that. He decided to stay with the company, stay true to the business, see the challenges through and come out the other end. And he did. He stayed with the company. He did came out the other end. They did have to rebuild, you know, rebrand, etc. Today, that leader has made over $100 million in network marketing industry. Was it worth staying? Was it worth being patient? Was it worth anchoring down and keeping true with the company? Absolutely, 100%. But the, for every one person that stays true, stays the course, there's another 100 who runs like rats from a sinking boat. You know what I mean? So that's where the true leadership appears. And if you're aspiring to be a great leader in a business or you, you think you are a great leader, ask yourself, what do I do when the challenging times come? What do I do when, you know, the S hits the fan? You know, do I keep going? Do I stay calm and stable? Or do I run around like a headless chicken? You know, a true leader, that's when they show up in crisis, in difficulty, and they help other people to make it through. Now, if you are a person who you know that, oh my gosh, you know, I'm not that type of leader, then work on your leadership. 
you know, get some leadership books, watch some videos about leadership, read some, uh, you know, autobiographies of great leaders in history and think, what can I learn from those people? How could I become a, a better leader? You know, one of the greatest things you can do is become flexible in the way you learn. What I mean by that is, uh, yeah, you might be building a network marketing business, but you don't just have to read about network marketing leaders, right? There might be other businesses or other industries where there has been great leaders. And you might read about Steve Jobs. You might read about Richard Branson. You might read about uh, this person and that person and this president and this king and etc. and gather from them what can I learn from them to become a better leader in my business, to become a better leader for my team, right? That's what it sometimes requires, you know? It's, it's like you have to learn how to be flexible in the way you learn. It doesn't always going to be given just for your business, just for your product, just everything on the plate, right? Sometimes you have to adapt and go, okay, these guys are in a completely different business, but this is what that leader does. How can I adopt that in my business, in my leadership. You know what I mean? And sometimes you'll find that those things that you apply from somewhere else in your business might be the biggest breakthroughs ever. So that's my tip for today, my friends. Hey, Gintara, nice to see you. Thanks for jumping on. Uh, hope you guys got value. If you did, feel free to share this video. Have an awesome rest of your Sunday, and I'll see you at the top. Bye for now.